Welcome back everybody to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to analyze your replays not only in game but if you're away from your computer online as well. So there's two websites that I like to use. The first one is just for matchmaking. This is csgostats.gg. A link will be in the description and you can put in any uh, matchmaking game here even if it's not yours. It will give you a download link. Um, you can check out if people got fact banned and you can just kind of keep track overall of what's going on. Um, you can kind of see a round by round thing like who won what. You can get a rating for yourself which is pretty cool. Um, you can see your overall stats. If I click the right thing, yeah, you can see your overall stats, your entry percentage, your 1vx percentage, um, all that. So that's pretty cool. But you can't see a round by round analysis and you can only use matchmaking games. So the other website that I like to use is Noasis GG. You can get a 14 day free trial and if you use offer code HARDFLUFF25, you will get 25% off your order. But this is pretty cool because you can use ESCA games, you can use uh, face it games, you can use matchmaking games, you can use professional demos too. And all you do is you click check, you can go to the 2D replay. And with the 2D replay, you can click out whatever round you want. Um, you can see all the players listed on the side. And so you can just press play, and it will show you where everybody's going, what happened. And uh, you can even speed up the round if it's taken a bit too long as well. So it's pretty cool. Now keep in mind, you always will have the traditional method, that's not the right thing, of looking at your uh, matches in-game, where it does give you a round-by-round round analysis. You can download it and uh, check out which round you want to, and it will actually show you the GOTV demo. Um, but how do you actually, like, watch ESCA games or watch Face It games? I'll show you. So much like a jump throw bind, you're going to locate where Counter-Strike is downloaded. If it's downloaded in your default directory, as in not on a secondary hard drive where you custom configured it to download somewhere else. It's going to be in your local disk or your C drive. Program files times 86. You're going to go down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, CSGO. Once you're in this folder, you're going to go into CSGO one more time. And now you have a bunch of different folders. But in these folders, you have the replays folders. All right. And you can just drag and drop things. So, for example, and I'll show you this in real time. If we were to go to ESCA and I wanted to download this match, all right? Brand new uh, match page for ESCA, pretty cool, but you can still right up here, press the watch demo button and it starts to download the match. Let's open up face it as well. And disregard my face it level because I just don't play it. But if I wanted to download one of my matches, I would go to my stats page, I would click this. Once again, towards the top, if I go back to overview, there will be a watch demo button. I can click that, it's going to automatically start downloading something. So let's just uh, ignore the face it demo. Let's open up the ESCA match. You do not need to have a uh, WinRAR archiver to open this up. It will just download the .dem file and you can easily just drag that in there. Okay. I would actually rename it to something just because it does get confusing after a while. Uh, let's do click this one. All right, that's there we go. So now we're back in game. And what we're going to do is press shift F2 and this opens up this little panel. And on this panel, you can click load and go into the replays folder like you did before. Now we have the click this one. And you can press open and this will automatically load up the demo. Uh, Keep in mind that these demo reviews are 32 tick, so it's going to be a bit choppy. Um, this is why Overwatch isn't the best for banning people, because you're watching the demo, and if somebody flicks over super hard, it's going to look crazy. All right. But so with this, you can skip to the next round, you can speed up, you can slow it down. Um, one thing you do have to keep in mind is that, let's say I go to halfway through the game, um, that's going to load each tick individually all the way up to that point. All right. If I wanted to skip around, it's just going to load the thousand other ticks that it's going to take to get to that next round. But if I wanted to go back around, it's not going to deload the ticks it already loaded. It's going to restart from zero, zero and go all the way back. So it's going to take longer to go back around. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, you don't want to spam go back rounds or else it's going to start to freeze up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys learned something today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.